like me. You want to be like me. You, you want you want to be like me. Okay, so I'm not a partner. I got 11 minutes to do this and Jimmy left me extensive notes on what she wanted me to cover because she is pissed off that she spent three hours watching this crap and she was like, you better explain everything. So without further ado, first comment. So Nicki Minaj is officially Lady Gaga like a are you even a hip-hop artist at this point? Like, really, in all honesty, that performance to me was more along the lines of just more like club music. Like, it's not even hip-hop at this point. Next thing, Taylor Swift. OMG, do you ever look any fucking different? You look exactly the same on everything you come to. Hair straight, hair curled, gold dress, silver dress, red dress, don't matter. You look exactly the same. Justin Bieber, lame-ass performance. We don't know what this is, and I quote, this is from Jimmy, Judy Jetson, Robocot, naughty or nice, toast on the floor, jelly side down, outfit. End quote. On this whack-ass, crazy-ass, red and white outfit that looked like you should have been performing with the black eyed peas if the outfit would have been like black and glow in the dark on the other side or some shit. Um, so 50 Cent introduces Chris Brown. Where the hell did they drag 50 cents out of? Clearly from in between the couch cushions because who the hell brought out 50 cents to bring out Chris Brown? And then, can you please, and I've seen this all over Twitter too, can you please, Chris Brown, what's with the blonde hair? I thought he was about to come out and cover the thong song, which probably would have been a little bit more exciting than the song that he did because really in all honesty, this was the first of many, like everybody wants to sing a goddamn ballad tonight. Don't do a damn ballad at the American Music Awards. We want to see great live performances. Uh, yeah, what if everybody's performance looked like it was the gay bar, like to this point. This is like an hour into the show and I was like, this is the gay bar. Like everybody's performance looked like it's for the gay bar. I'm convinced that Nicki Minaj is Lil Wayne and drag, y'all. I am convinced y'all don't never see him at the same time. They the same person you heard in her new song. She say, I am the female Wayne. I'm convinced that that is all that ass and titties is Pat, and I watched RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race. I know you can do that. You have a little Wayne. Mm, little Wayne. And then you have Kanye West. Mm. He's a dick, but he's a genius. And then you have Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj wins. See, this is how I know the music industry is fucked up, because y'all voted for Nicki Minaj over Lil Wayne, who basically y'all voted for Lil Wayne because he writes all her shit, and Kanye West. All right. So Chris Brown versus Rihanna, and Rihanna wins. Imagine that. Imagine also that neither Rihanna, nor Jay-Z, nor Beyonce is at the AMAs because Chris Brown performed. Keep that in mind because trust me, you know they'd have locked that shit down. Um, who really wants to see Enrique Iglesias? That is the exact note. Who really wants to see Enrique Iglesias? Not me. But, um... How you gonna have a high school choir backing you up on, but tonight I'm fucking you. A high school choir? So J-Lo started with a ballad, but then she stopped. And I was like, all right, J-Lo, about to do it. I'm gonna just get to these notes real quick. She had the best performance of the night, in my opinion, in Jimmy's opinion, too. However, bitch, did you really just pull out the, fi the Fiat? Like the commercial? Hey, you pulled out the Fiat. Like the commercial. Like the commercial was hot. Okay, leave that alone. Why is Taylor Swift announcing best hip-hop album? Nicki Minaj beats fucking Watch the Throne with Kate. <laughs> Kanye West and Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj wins this. Ha ah, yeah. Then she thanks all the female rappers. No, boo-boo, you only need to fake, thank one female rapper. That would be Lil' Kim because you took her style and ran with Katy Perry, again, tired of the ballads, but I like Katy Perry. But for real, and this is another Jimmy quote, um, you look like white trash, hillbilly, Grand Ole Opry, Judy Jetson, Barbie. And it looks terrible. For real, dog. yeah, you was doing too much for that song. You should have toned, toned down, you know, let the song speak all that pink. That shit was crazy. And best new artist, who the fuck is Hot Shell Ray? I feel like, y'all, have y'all ever seen Jimmy's video where she is like, who the fuck is Tyler, the creator? This is part two. Who the fuck is Hot Shell Ray? I, I don't get it. 
Okay, Latin music, who cares? Ain't they all on each other's songs? Yeah, because they all perform for each other tonight, right? Okay, so Alanis Morissette introduces Mary J. Blige. Yes! Work and let the children, because I know the gays was all up in arms, as was I, because that was the tea. Okay, now, Mary J. Blige, I was tired of ballads, but I thought, they said this is off of my life too. And I felt, oh, Mary, I felt the performance with the little ghetto dancers and they was just, and they was grinding and shit. That I felt, oh, Mary, and then, yes, Mary, did Mary say, oh, y'all not gonna recognize Heavy D? I'm gonna recognize Heavy D. That's my friend, and I will say rest in peace, and thank you, Mary. Okay, now, at first I said Jello was the best performance of the night. I'm going to give it to Mary at this point because that was so classy and so Mary J. Blige. And I just love her. Moves Like Jagger. I'm so excited for Moves Like Jagger. Love the song. Performance is whack. And Christina Aguilera, welcome to Team Thickums. Because she had a little fat coming out of her Spanx on the ankle. You are officially Team Thickums, girl. That's all right. You can sing your ass off. You sing like a fat black woman anyway. It's all right. We all right. We love you. Drake's performance was what I expected. Dull, boring, but I love that song. Headlines is my shit. Don't get it twisted. Jenny McCarthy looked amazing. Um, well, I am. Thanks for saying you go hard like Liquid Swords. But that song did not go hard at all. And really, did you need J Lo? Because really, I felt like that should just been a Black Eyed Peas song, and that should just been Fergie singing. Why was Mick Jagger like on the video prompter for Will I Am? But not for Christina Aguilera and Maroon 5 for moves like Jagger. And then Taylor Swift. God damn it, Taylor Swift. Quit acting like you was so shocked. I wasn't expecting this. You win everything. You win everything. And when you don't win, you sit in the audience and look pissed. We seen you at the CMAs, bitch. I seen you. This finale, so they didn't have us all geeked up for this finale. Like, this finale was going to be amazing. And let me tell you something, it was not. So they come out with LMFAO with they Jufros or whatever those kids get. Um, first of all, they come out and say sponsored by Old Navy. Um, first J-Lo with the Fiat, now the finale is sponsored by Old Navy. With the French toast. Like, then we have, um, I was saying this. Like, we don't consider LMFAO to be hip-hop, but they rap. I think Nicki Minaj need to be in their category. You just party music, boo-boo. Don't say that you're a female rapper. You're not. Don't say that you're a hip-hop artist. You're not. You in a category with LMFAO. I'm in Miami, bitch. You stay in your lane. Because no longer will I accept anybody calling you a female rapper or a hip-hop artist because that fucking performance that I seen tonight did not have shit to do with hip-hop. Trust. That did not have shit to do with hip-hop. You can be in the same category with LMFAO now. You're a pop artist. You you do party music. That's what you do. You don't fucking, you're not a hip-hop artist. LMFAO has never said that they was hip-hop. You know why? Because the shit they do ain't hip-hop. And you know what type of shit they do? They do shit like you. That's where you at. Stay in your lane. Anyway, um... So they had Katy Perry in the audience and they were doing the party rock. Please, Katy Perry, don't ever do the running man again in your life. Because that was horrible. Um, they had like these jack-o'-lanterns in the background. Like the faces was jack-o'-lanterns. And then, like, Justin Bieber comes out dancing like a hot damn mess. Just I thought Justin Bieber could dance a little bit. I don't know what the hell he was doing with them spandex and shit. Oh, terrible. And then, um, Jimmy writes, and I quote, Gross, put that crotch smile away. Gross. Put it all away. Just distasteful. Supposed to be a family show. And then the creme de la creme, or should I say the crap de la crap of this show, is at the end. David Hasselhoff takes his pants and starts grinding his smiley face in the camera. Now I'm sorry. And I try to do positive videos, but when I spent three hours of my Sunday and I got to go back to work tomorrow and I couldn't watch nor once upon a time 
or Desperate Housewives, or even Pan Am that I don't even DVR because I don't even like it that much, but I will watch it from time to time if I don't feel like changing the channel after Desperate Housewives. But this shit, S M H. Go Team Thickums. Jimmy would like to thank y'all for watching. I would like to thank y'all for welcoming me as the ghost, excuse me, the guest host. And now I got some editing to do. I was trying to do it in 11 minutes so I could have my video up first. But Jimmy's going to kill me because I ran over. So, hot mess. See you next time.